When treating rotator cuff tears, it's important to first assess the tear pattern of the rotator cuff to understand how the tendon will reduce to the footprint. In some cases, you'll find a delaminated cuff tear in which the layers of the rotator cuff will reduce to the footprint at different points. In cases like this, a dual-layer FiberTac speed bridge construct is used to address the layers of the tear. With the first 2.6 FiberTac RSC set in bone, retrieve the repair suture from the anterior anchor through the lateral portal. Load the repair suture into the Scorpion suture passer and pass the repair suture through the inferior aspect of the delamination. Retrieve the loop end of the shuttle suture from the lateral portal. Load the repair suture into the loop, folding at the purple mark. Convert the knotless mechanism by pulling the suture tape end of the shuttle suture from the percutaneous portal. Next, pull the repair suture to tension the inferior aspect of the delamination, but do not fully reduce the loop. Tension each repair suture individually to fully reduce the inferior aspect of the delamination. Repeat these steps for the posterior and middle anchor. Once proper tension is applied, cut the tails of the repair sutures. Retrieve the anterior fiber tape. Load the joint tails into the scorpion suture passer and pass the fiber tape through the cuff. Repeat this step for the other two fiber tape sutures. Once all the tapes are passed, cut the joint tail of the fiber tape sutures. Retrieve one limb of fiber tape from each anchor and use the megaloader to load them into the self-punching knotless swivel lock anchor. With the eyelid above bone, remove slack from each limb of fiber tape. With all slack removed, press the self-punching swivel lock anchor to bone and maintain forward pressure. Use a mallet to tap lightly to advance the eyelet through the cortex. Mallet until the anchor body is touching bone. Once the anchor is touching bone, advance the swivel lock anchor in place. The lateral knotless mechanism can be used for cable reinforcement. This completes the FiberTac speed bridge construct, allowing for differentiated tension of the layers of the delaminated tear.